Hi guys! Excuse the weird lighting. Um, today I'm going, if you can't see it in the title, I'm going to try this new series called Try With Me. Um, basically the introduction to the series is um, I'm a newbie at a lot of things, um, but I like to try new things. I'm definitely looking for new experiences in my life. Um, so I thought I would try um, eyelashes today. So today I'm going to try false lashes. Um, I bought these at Walgreens. They were like $6. Um, they come with these lashes and then like lash glue that you can see down here. I wanted to buy the Ardell ones, but the Ardell ones that I could find at that Walgreens on that day did not have ones with lash glue. So And I didn't want to buy a separate thing of lash glue because I don't know if I'm going to like this actually. So if I don't like these, I might give them another try. But um, my experience with fall lashes is that one of my friends, Diana, hi Diana, she um, used to have, she's put on false lashes, but they were the ones that were like individually, um, you know, like they had to set them individually. And I was like, that sounds terrible. Like I have no patience for that. But these look like they set in like a minute or two, like checking out all the videos that I saw. So I was like, I could give these a try. Why not? Um, these look nice. They look really long, actually. Oh god. Oh god. Help me. So I just accidentally opened them, but here I am opening them. Um, <coughs> oop. Here's that teeny tiny lash glue. La eyelash adhesive. Bear with me for a second. <coughs> so what they tell me is you're supposed to take your tweezers and then pull on this side here so that they lightly come off because you can actually tear them. Bam! So like, I'm going to take the other one off, but uh, these look like they have no band, which is supposed to be really comfortable, but also really hard for beginners, so I might end up doing the Ardell ones anyway. Alright, they're off. Um, I'm going to measure them and see if they match my eyes. So this one is for this one. Ooh. Alright, so this one is for this eye. Let me just see if that fits. Wow, it's really long. So they tell me you're supposed to put it like here. And then measure it. Wow, that's really big. So my eyes are really small. Oh god. This is so bad, you guys. This is so bad. Alright, so there... I'm going to cut them here. See how that goes. Oh god, I forgot how these go on already. Okay. This way. Oh god, I'm not even Okay. How's that? Okay, I'm going to cut, like, two more. Basically, like, cut off half the lash. Okay, so there it is. And they told me to always start from cutting from the outside because the inside is perfectly tapered, and that's why I'm doing it. I follow instructions. So you go like that, see if that fits. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, how do I look, you guys? Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to try putting these on now. I'm not going to show you how I cut the other one. I'm just going to do that off camera and then start putting on lash glue. Bam! Alright, so I don't know if that will zoom in, but here are the lashes. Here is my lash glue. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it came off. Oh, there's already a bubble. I don't know if you can see any of that. So they tell me to put this on. Oh god, this is like so crazy. Okay. I don't know if you can see any of this. I want to do my tweezers because that seems better. Okay, ready? Oh no! I don't know if you could saw any of that. Alright, let it dry for 30 seconds, I said. 30 seconds. I don't know if you can see any of this. Honestly, this this video is going to be terrible, you guys. 
They said don't blow on it because you could get bacteria on it, so I'm trying not to do that. Alright, I think it's okay now. I'm going to try putting it on. So they say... Oh god, this is terrible. Okay, to just put it on top. Oh god. Oh god. It's on, it's on the freaking... It's on my tweezers, you guys. I got on my tweezers. Probably can't use these over again. Okay, putting it back on. <laughs> okay. This has been a terrible experience so far. Now. Ugh. Screw the tweezers. It's on my hands. Well, at least the glue is tacky. Alright, putting these on like that. God. How's it still sticky? Okay, putting it on again. Fourth, fifth try? You know what? It's on my freaking... On my thumb. This is why people, this is why people use tweezers. I think it's because it's on the eyelashes. Alright. I cleaned them as much as I could. Clean them as much as I could. I think it, they're like getting stuck. Okay. Okay. So first you do this end. Push it in. Then you do this end. Then you go in and push it down. Actually, should have cut these more, I think. Wow. You guys, that is really long. Alright, I'm just using the back of these. Push them down. Alright, how do they look? They look pretty good, actually. <laughs> After all that trouble. Alright. I'm gonna do the other side now. <gasps> Alright, one eyelash on. Putting the other one on now. Really don't know if you can see any of this. Now that's done, time to put it on. Oh, look at you guys. Clean these off. Clean, clean. Definitely put less glue on this one now. Alright, so I'm putting it on. Oh. Please let go. Alright. Oh god, you guys, I forgot to weigh this around. Oh, double on it, double on it! Interesting that it's blue. Look at that. Can you see that? Okay, I think that's long enough. Putting that on. God. Hey, right, I'm just gonna put that on like that. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. Okay. I'll move this closer to this side. Oh. Keep grabbing my own lashes. Alright. Alright, that seems like it's on. Ugh. 
This one was harder. I think because I accidentally got lash glue on my eye, it stuck pretty quickly. Alright, how does that look, you guys? I'm a girl! I'm a girl! Wow. It do look really curly. <laughs> um... Alright, but I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? <laughs> Alright, so the camera's off the tripod, so I'm sorry if this is shaky. It's, I already know it's shaky. Oh, God. But, um, I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna look at my camera. I mean, my mirror over here. I think they look pretty good. Um, I'll say they're pretty comfortable so far. I haven't put any mascara on, like, even though I said I was going to. Um, I don't think I need to put... They said to put liquid eyeliner, um, over the parts where it, the glue is, but I can't really... Honestly, I can't really see the glue. Unless you can see it. Unless you can see it. I don't know if I'm going to zoom anymore. I think they look pretty good. Pretty comfortable so far. Um, these were, like... <clears throat> The bands were really, really small, and that's why it was hard to put on, but it was also, I think, um, all the videos I watch say they make them more comfortable. So, I'm gonna go through the day, I'll check in at the end of the day and tell you if, how they lasted, how the, these feel, and, um, if anyone knows the difference. I don't know if I'll see anyone today, but, um, I'll tell you how they feel. Bye guys, see you soon. So this is me about three hours of putting it on. I, my mom and I went to the farmer's market and it was very hot. I sweated a lot and they're still there. I think they look pretty good. They're a bit awkward in terms of like if I open, if my eyes are fully open, I can see like blurry eyelashes at the top. But other than that, pretty good experience, I'd say. Hi guys. All right, this is the last update. Um, it is about 9.30, so I've had these on for about 12 hours. Um, I can honestly say at the end of it, um, sorry, I'm like holding the light. Ooh. Um, I can honestly say at, at the end of it, um, I can barely feel them right now. Uh, I did get compliments. Um, my aunt asked if this was like, Oh, are these like permanent? And I was like, no, it's actually this is my first time putting them on. She's like, very good. And I was like, oh, thank you. you're the best. Um, but yeah, uh, they're pretty comfortable actually. Um, I don't notice them, like, I don't feel them on my eyelid at all. I can just like see them, you know, like out of the corner of my eye or like out of the top of my eye or whatever. Um, I will say I put these on almost on my lash line, which is great, but these went a little bit like whoop. Um, because of the lash glue that I had on. And I did go over the footage. I'm really sorry that, um, you can't see me putting on glue and you can barely see me putting on the lashes. I hope you can see me now. Um, I don't have a viewfinder for this and I don't have like a, it doesn't hook up to like another source, um, that I can check it out check myself out as I see it. So this is all just guesswork um, and this is like I'm just holding my desk lamp um, so that's why the lighting is terrible but in a second I'm just gonna put it down um, I'm gonna take the lashes off because again this is you're just experiencing this with me so I'm gonna take the lashes off and um, yeah let's go alright guys ready so they say to pull on the edge I'm really hoping I'm not like grabbing my own eyelashes. And they just come right off. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it kind of hurts. Oh. Eyelash. So I did put a little mascara on it. I don't know if you can see. And then I did eventually put the little bit of like eyeliner on the bottom just like Urban Decay gel liner um yeah I can wash that all off that wasn't that bad alright and if you guys can remember that was the one that was really hard 
And then this one, yep, just coming off. Sorry, just coming off. Oh, yeah. Hmm. This one, let's see, has like, oh, not that much mascara. This one was easier to put on, so it makes sense that it's easier to take off. Alright, guys, and that's it. Let's, ow. Mm -hmm. Let's look at my regular face now. Can't really see, like, the rem remnants. Remnants? Um, yeah, I did bring some eye makeup remover just in case. It's just coconut oil. That's what I use to remove eye makeup. But yeah, looks like it's okay. Feels okay? It didn't, like, take off any of my lashes. Oh, no, it did, you guys. One lash. One of my eyelashes was on here. This was on... Oh, it was on this one. And this one has no lashes. It would make sense that this one got an eyelash because this was my first eye, right? Right, you guys? This was my first eye, so that makes sense. And, um... It's right here. I don't know if you can see it. it's like right here. But this one has none, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I'll probably be reusing those. Alright. Um I would wear false lashes again. Um actually now that I think about it, I can see my lashes like out of the top of my eye anyway. Um when I like look in a microscope, like when I looked in a microscope in like eighth grade, let me zoom out. When I looked in a microscope in like eighth grade, it did like I could still see my lashes. I can see my lashes now. So just because they're so much longer than my regular lashes that I notice it more, I kind of want to try those like really crazy lashes. Like these are pretty sparse. So I want to really try those like thick, really thick lashes just because I can. Just because I can. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I definitely want to try Ardell now. Beauty guru that I watch, uh, Luster Lux, she recommends a brand. Um, I forget what they're called, but you can buy them online, and they're supposed to be really cheap. And I'm down for that, you guys. I'm down. So that was pretty fun. I did struggle at first, remember. Yes, let me know what you think. If your first time with false lashes was similar to mine, where, like, you really screwed up on the first eye, but the second eye was like, hey, now that I got the hang of it, it's not that bad. Let me know how your first time trying on lashes was, because I'm really interested in that now. I hope you enjoyed this video. But yeah, let me know what else I should try for this try with me. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!